uh, this was uh, like a some college elective. I was about to say some stupid college elective. Not stupid, just an elective I didn't want to take. Garbage. Garbage elective. It was, garbage so elective. It was a garbage elective. I thought that the professor would get a kick out of me being like fired up about things. And so it was like very profanity laden. You know, and I, I didn't think I was like going to get a bad grade because of it. I was just like, yeah, you know, I'm just going to, you know, get a rise out of him. Mm-hmm. And then he like, you know, like the next week or whatever, you know, he's had time to read every, but, you know, in grade essays. And he was like, we're all now going to read our essays out loud in front of the rest of the class. And I was like, oh, heck no. I'm not doing that, you know, and like I could see him. Just being like, I'm going to do this to you because I know what you did to me. Uh-huh. Um, you know, I was like, I can't, I can't, I can't. I'm like, I'm like laryngitis. You know, like, <laughs> I can't. I have to go to the bathroom again. Like, I can't do it. <laughs> wow. Like, you know what? Someone should do this. Go to chat GPT-4 and say, do a joke. And then mm. say, was well, that funny? We'll see what the robot says. Because that's what we got to start getting used to. The robot, if the robot just says, that was hilarious. That's all we're gonna get in the future. That's it. I tried it. This is not GPT four. This is just Chat GPT free version. So I think yeah. it's still three point five. Uh, I said, "Tell me a joke." You want to know the joke? Yes. Yeah. Go. It said, "Why did the tomato turn red?" Oh because gosh. it was embarrassed. <laughs> because it saw the salad dressing. <laughs> ah, that's terrible. Love I'm gonna to say, it. "Tell me a funnier joke." Tell me a yeah. Make it incrementally have yeah. to be funnier. Tell Put me like a, on it. an actually good joke. Sure. Here's another one. Why don't scientists trust atoms? Oh, I, was, I had one, but I lost it. Go tell me. Because they make up everything. <laughs> oh, Shut yeah. up, dude. That's so much worse than I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna say great. Tell a joke that is 78 percent funnier. Why did the chicken that? join a band? Because it already had drumsticks. Oh. Geez. oh. Good grief. I hate it. Oh, I, I like the fact that Sarah follows up with the Charlie Brown catchphrase. So, how it, hard it is to remember someone's name. Yeah, I've had a period of time where I couldn't remember people's names uh, to their faces, and I call that my life. And uh-huh. it's just uh, just the way I live. And I, I call a lot of well, people buddy. You can kind of fake it. being like, oh, my gosh, it's been so long. Wow. And then they forget that you didn't say their name. So by the time you get into like the meat of the conversation, it, you you think at least you've gotten away with it. I've probably thought this, and I have not. My pro tips for these situations are great to see you because that could be a prior meeting or not a prior meeting. So if you don't remember if you've met in real life before, great to see you is a good Ooh, one. And if you happen to have a plus one with you at the event, you can do the... Uh, oh, I don't remember your name, but you don't say that out part out loud. You go, oh, so good to see you. This is so and so, and then hope that that person's like, oh, and what's your name again? And like, oh, gets I, I there see. For you. I had the opposite problem because when me and Jackie first started going out, she just thought I was insanely rude that I wouldn't introduce <laughs> her to people because I was like, I don't know this person. Like, we we worked together on a project for like a year and a half, but I never learned. Like, I was just like gone. It's just gone. I don't know. I was trying to avoid them. And now we're together. I I can't. They're going to have to lead this stance. I can't do it. I'm out. <laughs>